Hi students, I'm Sir Toff, your online tutor. For today's lesson, I will teach you how to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. At the end of this video, you should be able to define what is a quadratic equation, derive the quadratic formula, use quadratic formula in solving quadratic equations, and answer real-life problems related to quadratic equation. Now, if you have your pen and notebook with you, let's get started. A quadratic equation is an equation of the second degree, meaning it contains at least one term that is squared. The standard form is given by ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, with a, b, and c being constants or numerical coefficients, and x is a known variable. One absolute rule is that the first constant a cannot be 0. These are examples of quadratic equation. Now, can you identify which of these are quadratic equations? To begin with, we will use the standard quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Then we will carry out completing the square process. Now in completing the square, first we isolate the terms with variable x. So we will leave ax squared plus bx on the left side. Then we will transpose positive c to the right side and it will now become negative c. That process is also called adding the inverse. Now we divide all terms by the leading coefficient a. So dividing the three terms by a, the equation now will become x squared plus bx over a equals negative c over a. Next, identify the term to be added on both sides to make a perfect square trinomial. So here we will get the half of the linear coefficient and have it squared. So the linear coefficient here is b over a. Getting the half of b over a, so that's the same with multiplying it by 1 half or dividing it by 2, it will now be b over 2a. Getting the square, we will have b squared over 4a squared. So adding b squared over 4a squared on both sides, the equation now will become x squared plus bx over a plus b squared over 4a squared equals negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. Next, I write the expression on the left side as a square of binomial since it is already a perfect square trinomial. So this expression now will become x plus b over 2a equals, now in this case, the terms on the right side of the equation may be interchanged so that the first term will become positive. So we will have b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Next, Combine the terms on the right side of your equation, you get the LCD. So the LCD of 4a squared and a is 4a squared. Getting the LCD, 4a squared. Divide 4a squared by 4a squared and multiply the quotient by b squared. That will now become b squared. Then minus 4a squared divided by a is 4a times c. That is now 4ac. So the right side can now be written as b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. So next, uh, we can get now the square root of both sides. Getting the square root of both sides, so we cancel now the square. We'll have x plus b over 2a be equal to positive, negative, b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. Now, since our goal is to find the value of x or to isolate x, we can now transpose b over 2a on the right side of our equation. So, x now will be equal to negative b over 2a plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Combining these terms will now give you x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this is now your quadratic formula. Our first example, say we are asked to solve the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0 using quadratic formula. So first, you need to identify the numerical values of a, b, and c. So a, if we would recall, a is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So if there's no number here, automatic, that would be 1. Then b, b is the numerical coefficient of your linear term. So in this case, that's negative 2. C is the constant, so that would be negative 15. Now, substituting these values to our quadratic formula, this would become negative of negative 2, that would be positive 2. Then plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, negative 15, all over 2 times one. So, evaluating this value would give us 2 plus minus 4 plus 60 all over 2. So, 2 plus minus the square root of 64 is 8. So, plus minus 8 all over 2. So, here you could now separate the values, one with the positive 8, then one with the negative 8. So, the values of x could be 2 plus 8, that's 10 over 2 or 5. Then the other one is 2 minus 8, that's negative 6, divide by 2, that's negative 3. So now the roots now of this quadratic equation are negative 3 and positive 5. Now if you want to test whether your answer is correct or not, you may substitute these values to your original quadratic equation. If it will become 0, then your values are correct. For our second example, solve the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 5 equals 0. Notice that in this equation, the linear term is missing. Now, if that is the case, we would now give a value of 0 to the numerical coefficient b. a is equal to 3, then c is equal to negative 5. Now, if you will encounter examples where in the constant term, is missing, then c would become 0. Then substitute these values to our quadratic formula. This would become 0 plus minus the square root of 0 minus 4, 3 times negative 5 all over 2 times 3. And this would become positive negative square root of 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60. Negative times negative, that would be positive 60 over 6. Now, 60 can be factored out as 4 times 15. And you know that 4 is a perfect square. That is the same as 2 squared times 15. Now, you can get uh, the square root of 2 squared. Then that would become positive negative 2 square root of 15 over 6. Simplifying this value, dividing 2 to both the numerator and the denominator would give a value of positive negative square root of 15 over 3. For our third example, solve the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x equals 10x minus 3. Take note that when using quadratic formula, your equation should be written in standard quadratic form, meaning it is equated to zero. 
So, if this is your equation, then you need to transpose the terms on the right side to the left side of your equation. And if there appear similar items or similar terms, combine them. So, doing that in this example, 2x squared plus 3x, transposing positive 10x to the left side would become negative 10x, the negative 3 would become positive 3 equals 0. Now, combine like terms, you will have 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Here, your a value is positive 2, the b value is negative 7, and c is 3. Now, you may now substitute these values to our quadratic formula. So, negative of negative 7 is positive 7 plus minus the square root of 7 squared or negative 7 squared, that's the same, it's 49 minus 4 times 2 times positive 3 all over 2 times 2. This would become 7 plus minus the square root of 49 minus this is 24. So 49 minus 24. That's 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24 all over 4. So 7 plus minus 49 minus 24, that is 25. Square root of 25 is 5 all over 4. So rewriting the values in terms of positive and negative 5. This is now 7 plus 5 over 4. 7 minus 5 over 4. 7 plus 5 is 12 divided by 4. That gives us a value of positive 3. 7 minus 5 is 2. Dividing that by 4, that's 2 over 4 or positive 1 half. So the roots now of this quadratic equation are 1 half and positive 3. So that's it for our online tutorial for today. I hope you learned something. And if you have a video request, please write it in the comment section below. God bless everyone.